everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we'll be doing my June releases. Let's get going. Finally, summer is out, or rather spring, so we're ready for nice clothes weather and all that fun stuff. I'm ready for my vacation. This will probably be up by the time I am in vacation, so yeah, just in time for your June releases. Let's get going. So my first book is Foul Base by Genova de Mora. It will come out on June 25th. And it's the Richard means Naomi Novik. And this is like a Slavic folk horn. As a witch in the walled city of Chilograd, Corsada has plenty of practice taming Nusalkas, Nusa fighting kinky mortars, and bringing a lycanthrop repellent. There's only one monster Corsada can't defeat, her ex, the Zumi. Known as the Tassan of Monsters, she has defied him one too many times and now he's hunting her. Betrayed to him by someone close to her, Cosada's only hope is to train her shadow. The source of her powers for illegal passage across the world to Belograd, where monsters can't follow. That sounds exciting. Belograd reminds me of Belograd for in Serbia. I wonder if she did it on purpose. My next book is Of Jane and Dragons by Emma Chin. It will come out on June 18. 18-year-old Ao Yang dreams of becoming a brilliant engineer just like her beloved father, but her life is torn apart when she arrives a moment too late to stop his murder and was. It lets the killer slip out of reach. Left with only a journal containing his greatest engineering secrets and a jade pendant snatched from the assassin, Yang vows to take revenge into her own hands. Disguised as a brother, Yang heads to the capital city and discovers that the answer to finding who killed her father lies behind the walls of the prestigious engineer's guild the home of a past her father never wanted to talk about. With the help of an unlikely ally, Ayung Gia Ye Yang, attacking him but very handsome young prince, Yang must never get over fought with rules, challenges, and politics she can barely grasp, let alone understand. My next book is Daughter of Calamity by Rosalie Amberlin. It will come out on June 18. Jing Wen spends her nights as a showgirl at the Paramount, one of the most lavish clubs in Shanghai, competing ruthlessly to charm wealthy patrons. To cap off her shifts, she runs money for her grandmother, the exclusive surgeon, to the most powerful gang in the city, a possession her grandmother is pursuing her to inherit. When a series of camera dancers are targeted, the attackers stealing their faces, Jing Wen fears she can be next, and as the faces of the dancers start appearing on wealthy foreign socialites, she realizes Shanghai's glittering mirage of carefree luxury comes at a terrible price. This kind of reminds me of Spirit of the Rain. Wasn't there like a monster that heals people's faces? Or am I just dreaming? My next book is The Ballad of Jacques Delay by Brownie Cameron. It comes out on June 4th. In a tumulus town of Yacuamo in San Santo Domenico, Jacques Delahaye is an unknown but upcoming but up but up and upcoming ship flight. Her dreams are bold, but her ambitions are bound by the confines of her life with her self-seeking French father. When her way of life and the delicate balance of power in the town are threatened, she is forced to flee her home and become a woman on the run long with motley crew of refugees, including a mysterious young woman named Teresa. Jack White and her band become endured, endured servants to an infamous black hand, a ruthless pirate captain who rules his ship with an iron fist. As they struggle to survive his brutality, Jack White finds herself unable to resist Teresa. When Black and Hatches a dangerous scheme to steal a Portuguese shipment of jewels, Jacqueline must rely on her wits, resourcefulness, and friends to survive. She discovers there is a grander, darker scream of treachery at play, and she ultimately must decide what price she is willing to pay to secure a better future for them all. I know that's going to be a fantastic read. My next book is Saints of Storm and Sorrow by Gabriela Buba. It will come out on June 25th. Maria Lund-Yunin has been living a double life for as long as she can remember. To the world, she is Sister Maria, a beautifully nun and devoted servant of Angela's courtesy and colonizers. But behind closed doors, she is a storm caller, chosen daughter of the Angelian god goddess Anitun Tabu, and hiding not only from the Cornians and the witch hunts, but also from the vengeful eye of her silent goddess. Lunarian does not want does what she can to protect her fellow Anurians and the small family she has created in the convent, her lover Catalina and Kat's younger sister, Inez. Lunarian is determined to keep her hand down until one day she makes a devastating discovery which threatens to tear her family apart. In desperation, she turns for help to Alan Dakila, 
Heir to Emeline's most powerful family who has been undentally in love with her for years. But this choice sets in motion a chain of events beyond her control, awakening any turn to Emma's rage and putting everyone Lunarian loves in terrible danger. Torn between the call of Anion's magic and Catalina's jealousy, her duty to her family and to her people, Lunarian can no longer keep Anion's taboos firmly at bay. That's why you never make things up for the past. My next book is Running Close to the Wind by Alexandra Rowland. It will come out on June 11th. Avra Helvaji, former field agent of the Honesty Ministry of Intelligence, has accidentally stolen the single most expensive secret in the world, and the only place to flee with a secret that big is the open sea. To find a buyer with deep enough pockets, Avra must ask for help from his on again, off again ex, the pirate captain Tevini as Afan. They are far from happy to see him, but together they hatch a plan. Take the information to the isolated pirate republic of the Isles of Lost Souls. Fence it, profit. Throwing things in the way, a calculating new honesty ambassador to the Isles of Lost Souls who got his eyes on Avra's every move. Brother and Julian, a beautiful, mysterious new member of the crew with secrets of his own, and a frankly inconvenient rival of celibacy, the fact they are sailing straight into sea serpent breeding season and almost certain doom. But if they can find a way to survive and sell the secret on the black market, they will all be as wealthy as kings, and more importantly, they will be legends. That sounds so cool. My next book is The Wilderness of Girls by Madeline Claire Franklin, and will come out on June 11th. After being placed in foster care, Ree is hungry for a fresh start and begins working at the Happy Valley Wildfire Preserve. While in the woods, she stumbles upon a surreal sight, a pack of wolves guarding four feral and adjusting girls. After we gains their trust, they reveal that they are princesses from another land, raised by a magical prophet they call Mother, and the convinced Ri is the lost fifth sister. Unsure what to believe, Ri ushers the girls to civilization, where they are met with societal uproar and scrutiny, dubbed by the randomness media and true kind junkies as the wild girls of Happy Valley. Desperate to return to the kingdom, the girls look to Ri for help. Ri knows the girls are deluded. But at the same time, she's drawn in by the boldness and authenticity, traits she is afraid she has lost within herself. And when we witness this strange phenomenon she can't quite explain, the line between fantasy and reality grows blurry. As the hunt for answers intensifies, we must make a decision that will change the course of her life and the lives of her wild girls forever. My next book is The Last Hunt by Audrey J. Cole, and it will come out on June 25th. Talk, Alaska. Cameron Prescott hopes the past stays buried. After believing her murderous husband is finally dead, the fierce survivor longs to start over with her state trooper boyfriend, but her illusion of peace shatters when she hears a fresh killing that resembles her late husband's grish, grisly signature. Horrified to learn the evidence points to a member of law enforcement, Cameron questions how well she knows her new man, and as her lies and bodies pile up, Cameron is convinced she's being stalked by a killer. Is trusting anyone just a path to a cold dome? Maybe. <laughs> I hope not. And my last book is The Night in the Library by Emma and Jurisic. One night locked in the library. What could go on? I wonder why. <laughs> on the night before graduation, seven students gather in the basement of the university's rare books library. They're not allowed in the library after closing time, but it's the perfect place for the ritual they want to perform. One born from the Greeks said to free those who take part in it from the fear of death. And what better time to seek the wisdom of ancient gods than in the house, than in the hours before they were scattered in different directions to start their real lives. But just a few minutes into the celebration, the lights go out and one of them drops dead. As the body count rises with nothing but the books to protect them, the group must figure out how to survive the night while trapped in a murderer. That sounds Perfect. Now, if I can only read that book in natural library, it'll be all great. But, anyways, those are all the books that I have. Most of them are thrillers. I don't know why, but thrillers just seem to show up in June, in like summer. So it's kind of weird. I was expecting, you know, summer to be all happy and cheerful, and then we have thrillers. That's just how it goes, I guess. But let me know what you're excited for June releases, and please like, comment, subscribe. So you'll be notified every time you post, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!